Hi guys, we are back to Montreal and today we're gonna talk about 10 things that you should know before you're moving to Montreal. Let's go! There's just so much stuff to share about Montreal that one video is not enough. In our previous video, we've covered things like culture, job opportunities, and the cost of living. But in this video, we want to do something different. We want to talk a little bit about what's living in Montreal like, what's the vibe, how life in Montreal feels like, and what are the things that you would encounter on a daily basis living in this beautiful city. Let's do it. Okay, so let's get the most obvious point out of the way. Montreal is a francophone city. Yes, everything in Montreal is in French. The billboards, the signs, the public services. So I would highly recommend you learn French in Montreal if you want to properly integrate in Montreal culture. And if you do decide to learn French, there are multiple courses available here. There's even free courses available. And if you're a newcomer, you can get a scholarship and get paid for learning French. The French Canadian culture is very unique. So Montrealers and Quebecers in general have a lot of pride in their language and culture. So if you do end up learning French, you will get a lot of karma points from the locals. And if you don't want to learn French, depending on which field you're in, it's not too big of a deal. Obviously, working in customer-facing roles will require your proficiency in French. But if you're in the tech space, you get by very well without French. I've personally lived in Montreal for about 10 years. I have used French a little bit in the workplace, primarily in the tech startup scene, but I did not have to learn French in order to be successful in my job. Montreal is a very diverse population thanks to the high influx of students chasing the cheap education. And since the city has a strong European allure and speaks French, you're much more likely to meet Europeans, Africans and Middle Eastern folks here than in any other province in Canada. And since Montreal is known as a cultural capital, it attracts creative and vibrant individuals from all walks of life. There is no better place to make young, international and fun-loving friends in Canada than in Montreal. Thinking about this, how would you describe Montreal people? What was your experience like? Let me know in the comments below. Montreal is also bike-friendly. Arguably, it's the most bike-friendly city in Canada. It has almost a thousand kilometers of bike lanes, and most of them are also operational during winter. I find bike lanes in Montreal convenient and well-protected from the main road, which is a lot safer than many other cities, like Toronto, for example. Quebec has the highest tax rate among south border provinces in Canada and it stands at 14.975%. Fun fact, it's the only province in Canada that has three decimal points on its sales tax percentage. Quebec income tax is also highest in Canada, starting at 15% and reaching as much as beyond 25% if you're earning over $100,000 per year. The Quebec taxes are high, but some would say that you get a lot more benefits in Quebec, especially some demographics like students, low-income families, and families with kids. They get a lot more out of their tax than in any other province in Canada. And this brings us to the next point. Montreal is one of the cheapest cities to live in across all large cities in Canada, thanks to the cheaper rent, broadband and utilities. That is why it's very attractive to younger families with kids, as well as newcomers who are conscious about their expenses. Okay, there's actually one thing I want to note about the cost of living in Montreal. It's been about three years since I've moved to Toronto, and now being back here, I can actually say that some things are not cheaper in Montreal than in Toronto. Going out for dinner or drinks or even grabbing coffee or doing food delivery is really not cheaper than in Toronto. It actually could be more expensive because of the higher tax rate. So that's something for you to keep in mind. Well, if cost of living in Montreal is low, you might be wondering, what about the salaries? Well, the salaries in Montreal are also lower. It is an average 15 to 20% lower than Toronto, 15% lower than Calgary, and add a high income tax to all of that equation and things don't really look great for Montreal. 
Montreal is also crazy about hockey and the local hockey team Montreal Canadiens. And the hockey generally plays a very big part in the culture of Montreal. Montreal Canadiens, or Habs, won the most Stanley Cups in history of NHL. 23 to be more exact. So that's definitely something to be proudly obsessed with. The closest rival is Toronto Maple Leafs, sitting at 13 cups. I think it's an absolute must for you to experience the magical atmosphere in the Bell Center when the hockey game is on. Or at least, I would highly recommend you check out one of the Montreal sports bars and watch the game from there. I will caution you though, do stay away from downtown by the time the match ends, because things might get a little crazy, especially depending on how the game ends. Montreal is also known as the city of fun and the loyal approach to alcohol is part of the reason why. In Quebec, you're allowed to drink as early as 18 years old, whereas the rest of Canada drinking age is 19 years old. On top of that, Quebec allows you to buy beer and wine in regular convenience and grocery stores. And to make things even more fun, if you're into doing picnics with friends in a park, you're actually allowed to bring alcohol and drink alcohol safely, provided you have a little bit of food with it. How cool is that? With alcohol and a big student population, you will certainly have a lot of fun living in Montreal. There is never a dull day in Montreal with the numerous arts, culture and music festivals happening all year round. There is a festival for just every genre of music, from jazz to EDM to heavy metal. And for me, nothing beats striking up a philosophical conversation with a random stranger while sipping on a coffee on a Sunday morning. Construction in Montreal is so bad that many actually joke that Montreal only has two seasons, construction and winter. The moment the temperatures go slightly above zero, Montreal gets covered in roadblocks and construction cones. When you're in Montreal, you will have no choice but to notice how destroyed many of Montreal roads are. This is largely due to the harsh weather conditions. Freezing temperatures in winter and scorching hot and humid climate in the summer does no good to the roads. However, a word has it that high levels of corruption in the construction industry has also have something to do with the fact that the same roads in Montreal can get repaired every single year over and over again. Okay, so this one is personally my favorite out of all about Montreal. Montreal is a really good place for people who love outdoors, hiking and camping because there are so many amazing national parks and mountains within just one or two hours drive. The United States is also in just an hour drive with a lot of mountains and national parks in the US easily accessible from Montreal. The accessibility of outdoors is definitely not comparable to amazing places like Alberta or BC, but if you live in Toronto, you will definitely appreciate how much closer Montreal is to nature. So these are just 10 things that I think are important for you to know before you move or even visit Montreal. But honestly, Montreal is so diverse and culturally rich that even those couple of videos that we've made so far are not enough to describe how magical and special the city is. But if you think there's something really important that I think I missed in this video, please make sure to leave a comment so that others can see it. And as usual, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel if you enjoy our content. It really helps the progress of our channel. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.